So the mid-season finale was great. It had everything I wanted and more. So one thing I liked about this episode was that it had, like, everyone in it. It had Alexandra. It had Daryl escaping from the sanctuary. It had Carol and Morgan at Carol's little house. It had Maggie at the hilltop. It had, like, everything in one episode, and I really liked that because it's been a long time since almost every single character has been included. Because this season was very, like, focused on very one thing. So, like, first it was the lineup in episode one, and then episode two it was just about the kingdom, and three was the sanctuary, and four was hilltop, and, like, it was very focused more on one thing. But I like how this episode involved every single thing, and every single community, and, like, almost every single person. So, I feel like that was a really good way to do it. Maggie is on top of the wall, and Gregor comes over, and he's like, oh, people are talking about you and Sasha, like, killing the walkers that night. And it very much does bother him, because he doesn't like when he doesn't get his way. And he wanted Maggie and Sasha out of there. The fact that so many people like them, it's very gang to him, because he doesn't necessarily like that. Then Michonne is still with the woman she's with and still wants to go to Negan. Rick and Aaron are making their way to the canoe to get to the big boat on their little boat with holes. They make it to the canoe, but then Aaron gets taken underwater by walkers and pretty much tells Rick, go get supplies, don't come after me. I feel like his way of doing this was very big for his character because the fact that he's willing to risk his life so Rick can get the supplies for Negan was a very big step up and it made me like his character even more. The fact that he's willing to step up and do that. And then one of the Kingdom people, I think his name is Tony, is it? Goes to Carol's house with Morgan there and he talks about saviors and pretty much says can you two convince Ezekiel to fight the saviors because I don't want them to attack us first? And they both say no. Carol says no because she wants to be left alone and doesn't want to be with people, even though I think she secretly does. She just doesn't want to admit it. And Morgan says no because he wants to believe that all life is precious. And then he pretty much yells at them and says, it's going to be your fault when people die. Now... This doesn't really make sense to me. I guess he's mad and all, but... Really? Because, like... Just because they don't fight in a war, or doesn't plan to attack people and kill people, doesn't mean that when people die, it's their fault. It means they don't want to be part of it. Just leave them alone. And then... The saviors come to collect supplies in Alexandria, and Spencer delivers his supplies, and then... Him and one of the savior women start to flirt with each other. Then she yelled at Eugene to stop looking because he likes to watch people be romantic, I guess. Which is weird, but it's Eugene, so it makes sense. So then, Daryl does make his way back to the bike rack where he was before. So we've seen him make it this far before, but then he got surrounded and he was fucked. But then only um, Fat Joey comes along and he pretty much says, Go, I won't tell anyone. Leave now, there's a door right there. Then he starts bashing his head in with a um, metal pipe or pole or whatever. And the way he did it was very much like how Negan killed Abe and Glenn. I... So I was very iffy on that because I know Daryl doesn't want to become Negan. I know he doesn't want to. He didn't say his name was Negan. He said his name was Daryl. But... The fact that he did that, and he could have just like not he could have just hit him over the head with it and knock him out. But he com continued to bash his head in over and over again. Even Jesus comes over and is like, whoa, holy shit. So I feel like he didn't have to take it that far. I feel like he could have stopped and maybe not have done all that. But he did, and I guess he was mad. I feel like all his rage 
from when Glenn and Abraham died. From everything they put him through, I guess it kind of all just came out on Fat Joey, so I guess I can understand that. At Alexandria, Spencer starts getting all dressed up to go talk to Negan. But on his way there, he sees Rosita, and Rosita's like, yo, you got a date? And they start talking, and he he says, why do you throw what we had away? And Rosita flat out says, I used you. And because she just broke up with Abraham, well, Abraham just dumped her for Sasha. So she was very, like, vulnerable and pretty much just needed someone to sleep with. And Spencer was there, single, and so she's like, hey, let's do it. And he did. But then he pretty much says, do you want to have dinner tonight? And she says, yeah, sure. So I feel like even though she was using him, I feel like she definitely did start to have real feelings for him. There's also a part where Rosita sort of like had a confession with Gabriel. I think she said that it should have been her in the lineup. That she should have been the one to die. But she talked about Abraham would have fight. Glenn would have had a son and he would have known his father. He starts saying everyone in the lineup except for her. So pretty much her way of saying it should have been me. Glenn and Abraham should have been alive. It should have been me. So I now think that it all, because I thought it was just her grieving over Abraham, which it kind of was, but it's also she feels guilty because it wasn't her, which I didn't expect, but I feel like that was a big step actually admitting that, and me learning about that, because I didn't know about that, and that was just very powerful to me, just the way she said that. And then Gabriel even starts saying, you belong here, you should be here. So Gabriel, Gabriel is becoming awesome to me because he just like, he's becoming like his church self, but in a way where it works. Then Spencer and Negan start playing pool outside in front of everyone. And Spencer pretty much says, I want you to kill Rick and then I'll be leader here and we can work together well. Now Negan doesn't like this. Clearly. Because Rick hasn't done shit to him yet. I mean, ever since he made the lineup, Rick's been trying to be reasonable. It's everyone else in Alexander that hasn't been reasonable. Negan says, Spencer, you got no guts. And then rips his guts out. This was amazing. I've been waiting for this for since Spencer started acting like an asshole. So I'm glad this happened. I did feel really bad for Rosita, though, because she already lost so many... Like, she lost Abraham, who she loved, even though after they broke up, she still loved him. And just, like... And then, of course, she deals with it by trying to shoot Negan. Of course it misses Negan. And it hits Lucille instead. And at this point, Rick is already coming over with a beaten up Aaron because those guys are assholes. Because Aaron brought the little, like, fuck you note that he got on the boat. So Aaron's injured, and Rick's bringing him over, and Negan is pissed. I have never seen this man. He's been mad a couple times before, but this was a new level. He was furious. I was kind of scared. Arat threw Rosie to the ground and put a knife to her neck. And then he asks where to get the bullet, and Rosia is being good and says, it was me, it was me, it was me. Of course, Negan doesn't buy that. So, he says, Arat, kill someone. She does, turns around, shoots Olivia. I'm upset about this because I was starting to like Olivia. So, I'm upset. And then, she still says, it's me, it's me, it's me. Rosie's not going to rat out Eugene. So, she still says, it's me, it's me, it's me. And then, Negan says, kill another. Arat points her gun at Eric. And Aaron's over there, and like, freaking out. And then, Tara steps up and says, it was me. And even though this was just for a second, then Eugene stepped up, I feel like the reason Tara did this was because she lost a niece. She didn't want Aaron to lose Eric. Because they're like the only two, like, or they were the only two gay couples in Alexandria. So I feel like since Tara lost a niece, she didn't want Aaron to go through what she had to. So Tara stepped up, even though it was for a second and nothing really happened with that. I just wanted to address that because I noticed it right away and it was great. 
so then Eugene steps up and says it was May. And then they take Eugene away. And Rosia's crying because every time Rosia loves someone, Abraham, he dies. Spencer, he dies. Eugene, he gets taken away. Rosia is always left alone and is left without someone she cares about. And I do feel really bad for her. And I know it's kind of her fault for shoot, trying to shoot Negan and end up hitting Lucille and all that. But, I mean, I still do feel really bad for her. And she felt guilty for Abraham dying and it wasn't even her fault. But this time, in a way, it was. So I feel like this one is much worse. Then Rick and Michonne are talking in the cell. So Michonne pretty much says, I went there to kill Negan. But I didn't because I want us to kill Negan. That's a big step for her because Michonne's always been like sort of like a lone wolf. So the fact that she was able to say this was very big for her. Then at the hilltop, Maggie's up there on her guard and Alexandra comes with Rick, Carl, Rosita, Tara, the whole gang. They come. And then Maggie comes with Sasha. And then Daryl and Jesus come out from the corner. It's this whole big happy reunion moment. It's a whole big thing. It's awesome. And then, of course, the episode ends there. It ended on a high note, which was good after all that, like, death stuff. But I do want more. And I'll need to wait till February. Another thing I forgot to address was the person in the boot. Because we saw that person twice. Once when Aaron and Aaron Rick were loading up the car. And once at the very end, the little scene with Gabriel on watching that person's there. I have a few ideas. One is that it's Heath, because Heath is still gone. It wouldn't be that much of a like shot because Heath is good with them, so Heath wouldn't try to kill them or anything. I hope. And then another one is it could have been someone from Oceanside, because we know they're gonna come back soon. Why not be now? Who knows? So I think that's about it. So I won't see you Sunday because there's no episode of The Walking Dead then. I'll probably do something like next two weeks about Christmas and like Merry Christmas and that. And then maybe I'll do other stuff. I have some ideas. So if everything works out the way it should, I will be posting weekly at some point. So until then, see you soon.